Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a video for you on self-tanners. I'm going to show you the self-tanners that I've used, my experiences with them, um, if I think you should use them, or like, you know what I mean, if I like them, if I didn't like them, if I recommend them, if I don't recommend them, things like that. Um, I've only had one of these sent to me and the other ones I've purchased on my own, but I actually only have three to physically show you in this video because the other ones I either don't own anymore or... I just didn't like them, so I threw them out, stuff like that. So, I guess I'll start right now with the ones that I have with me. So, let's start with that. Okay, so first I have um, L'Oreal Sublime Bronze, um, Luminous Bronzer, Self-Tanning Lotion for Body. So this is Instant Action. Um, I got this at Walmart. Um, I kind of like it. The thing with this is, like, if you're really pale and you use this one, it's not a good scenario. Um, this one can be really, 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 really streaky. It's very tedious. Um, you have to kind of know how to work with it and you have to keep rubbing it in and in and in and in, in, in just to make sure it doesn't streak. Um, it has like that scary dark color like all of them do. I don't want to squish it out in case it goes all over my keyboard. Um, but the one thing I really don't like about this one, it is so sparkly like so sparkly um so it just looks like fake and you just look like one big glowing ball of sparkles like I don't know it just I don't like I don't like tanners with sparkles um but I didn't know it had sparkles so yeah um so yeah I rate this one maybe like a four or five out of ten because you really you basically already have to have kind of tan skin already you have to work really fast with it um it can be streaky it smells like self tanner um like it just has that self tan smell um so yeah four out of five don't really reckon four or five out of ten don't really recommend it unless you want to look like a glitter ball and potentially very streaky and orange so yeah um Next, we have the oh-so-famous Saint Tropez. Saint Tropez, Saint Tropez, don't know how to say it. Um, I love this. I love, love, love this. I'll show you. My bottle's really dirty. Um, so you can see it gets really dirty and lots of use. So this is what it looks like. This is, woo! The Saint Tropez Self-Tan Bronzing Lotion. Um, this is eight fluid ounces. Oh, and this is... 200 milliliters. Um, I don't remember how much this is. I think maybe $10 or something. This is ridiculously expensive. I didn't order this online. I actually found it at um, the Dove Spa. So, because I live in Canada, so it's kind of hard ordering it online unless I want to pay for Sephora, which the shipping for Sephora is kind of ridiculous. But anyways, I found this at Dove Spa. So if you have a Dove Spa near you, you can get it there. They have like the whole line. Um, it was like with tax, I think almost $50 for this little tiny bottle. I mean, it's not little, but like the amount you have to use is quite a bit, so it doesn't last forever. Um, the things I like about this is it is a very natural tan. Um, it, what does it smell like? I haven't even used this for a while. Let's see. It smells good. It kind of smells perfumey. As you can see, it's this terrifying dark lotion, but it has a green tint to it. And that green tint basically makes you not orange. It gives you kind of like, like the olive skin. So it doesn't give you an orange tan. It'll give you an olive natural tan. Um, what I don't like about this is the fact that you have to wear gloves. Like you have to, if you don't wear gloves, good luck getting it off your palms. Um, you basically, I, I always like to watch the video when I'm applying this, and I always get scared before I apply it, because they have a video um, showing, like, a lady applying it and stuff. So you have to, like, tan, or, you have to tan, you have to pump, like, three pumps in your hand, and then pump, like, lotion as well, and then, like, get it in your hand, and then, like, rub. And the thing is, if you rub too much, it streaks. So you basically have to leave it on your skin streaky, and then you take, like, um, they use, like, this special, like, mitt to like buff it away. You can't buff too much because then it might streak. You know what I mean? It's it's very tedious as well. But I just use um, a black towel and I just gently buff away um, the streaky lines. And uh, it does give a very, 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 very nice tan. I love it. But it's such a hassle to do. Like I hate having to use this, but I love the end result. 
So um, that I'm going to have to give maybe like an 8 out of 10 because I love it, love it, love it, but it's just annoying to put on. Um, it's easy. It just takes a while and it's just tedious, I guess. So yeah, 8 out of 10 um, for St. Tropez uh, self-tan bronzing lotion. I haven't used the mousse, but I have heard good things about it as well. So maybe I'll pick that one up and try it. So the third one I physically have to show you is the one that a company sent me. I'm actually wearing it right now. Like, I'm so tanned right now. Like, you can't tell because I have, like, some huge shining light on me right now. Um, but I'm so tanned. I walked into class today and I instantly got, like, five compliments being like, Did you go tanning? Your skin looks awesome. And they were like, um... My, my teacher was like, it just looks so even. And I'm like, yeah. And so I like showed them what it was and stuff. And like, I'm not being paid to say this or anything like that. Like, I love this stuff. I'll show you it. You've all heard of it before. It's by Sun Labs. So it's this kit right here. You don't have to buy the kit. Um, but in the kit, it comes with the loofah. And then it comes with um, the exfoliator. And it comes with the self tanner, which I'll talk about in a second. And it comes with um, the tan moisturizer maintainer. So I'll just briefly, I'm going to do a review on this, but I guess I'll just briefly say how they smell and stuff, because I've been saying that for all of them. Um, I don't even know. It doesn't smell bad, but I honestly can't even explain that smell. I'm pretty good with explaining smells, but I can't explain that. That's weird. Um, this one, I really do like the smell of it. It is like almond um if you've ever smelled almond extract it smells like that and then i've also heard it smells like cherry which i do definitely see the cherry smell in it now basically it smells like a popsicle like a red popsicle i think i'd say no the blue popsicle it smells like a blue popsicle and then this smells like um mouthwash mint minty mouthwash brushness so anyways i'll talk about these in um, a different video but i'm going to be talking about the self tanner today I love this. I love this. I love this. I love this. This is my new favorite self tanner. This used to be my favorite self tanner, but this one is now. Just because this one gives the exact same color. Um, oh no, my computer's dying. This one gives the exact same color as Saint Tropez, which is awesome. It has that green tinge to it, you know, so you get the olive color instead of orange color. But this one is so much easier to apply. This one took about maybe five minutes, not even, to do my whole entire body. This one takes like 15 minutes because it's just so tedious. Anyways, so this one, I didn't even, I didn't wear gloves and my hands are fine. Um, it's terrifying at first because you're like, oh my god, my hands. And then I just washed my hands with a little bit of this and soap and twice and gone. So it's fine. Um, this one I didn't have to mix with moisturizer. I just pumped it on, spread it on, and I just, I did it really fast. And if you do it really fast, it helps avoid streaks because it doesn't give it time to dry in like, um, uneven areas, I guess, you know. Um, so if you just rub it in really fast, which makes it go by really, really, really fast, done. It's fine. Um, so yeah, I love this. It smells really good. Um, it does, obviously, with all of them, you do get that like self-tanner smell when they like, um, sink into your skin and stuff. So, it's not that bad. Um, I've had much worse self-tan smells than when this sets and like when this sets. So, I love this. I honestly rate this a 10 out of 10. I'm quite surprised because I'm very, very picky when it comes to self-tanners. But I definitely give this a 10 out of 10. This pack that comes with like a beach bag as well is $39.99. Um, which is an incre like incredible... Especially when this is 8 fluid ounces. These are the same size. And um, this is like $20 more. And you get like all of this stuff, right? So, yeah. I really recommend this. Look out for my review on it. My fully go into detail on it. But yeah, love this. So the other ones I don't physically have with me anymore. But I am going to link them in the bottom bar so you can see what they look like. And I will talk about them. So I'm just going to open up pages I have with them. Okay. So the first one is um, L'Oreal Paris Sublime Bronze Self Tanning Gloves. So it is this in glove form. Bad idea. Worst idea ever. Ever. So I bought this when I first really didn't know about self tanners that much. Um, I only used like the Jergens one, which I'll talk about. 
you don't want self-tanner on your hands. That's like the last place you want self-tanner, basically. Um, that's like the last thing, if you don't wear gloves, like, you want to wash that off right away, right? Because nobody wants orange palms, not a cute look, anything like that. So this thing is like a giant glove with not like with, doesn't have fingers. I don't think it has a thumb finger. I think it's just like a literally like a whoop. And you just put it on your hand and then you just go whoop it do like just self tan yourself just by just rubbing it with this glove. And it is the streakiest, orangest, like a disgustingest formula ever. Oh my goodness. Like, cause it's clear. These are all tinted. You can see where you're putting them. That's what I like in a self tanner. This is just clear. So you have no idea. It's not even like a cream. It's just like a, just a liquid. It's like you're rubbing water on yourself. Basically you have no idea where it is. So you're like, okay, yeah, no, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Right. Cause you can't see if there's streaks or anything like that. I looked literally, I looked diseased. I looked like I had a skin disease the next day when I woke up and this stuff like claims to like not fade for like, I think a week or two. Oh no, it didn't fade. <laughs> I, my friends were all like, what is wrong with your arms? Like, cause like, that's all I would let people like see if I got hot in school, I'd like roll up my sleeves or something. My wrists and my hands and my arms, it was like one big blotch. Like literally, this is the worst self tanner I've ever used in my entire life. Never buy it, never buy it, horrible. Anyways, so hate it, zero out of 10. Um, okay, next is Too Faced Tanning Bed in a Tube. Um. This you can buy at Sephora, and um, it's just in a tube, it's a gold tube, and it's, I did, I'll link it all below. I do like this, but it has a pina colada scent that is fine at first, but then it l turns into like a self-tan smell and pina colada, so you just, you reek. Like it's like such a strong smell that you can smell it from so far away, like you reek when you use this. Um, this I believe does have like glitter sparkle in it as well, um, which I didn't like and it's also kind of more, it does tan you a little bit but it's more of a, an instant kind of like bronze, like if you want to go out that night and you like just, you're like looking pale and you're just like you can't afford to like wait for like however long these take to develop. This one you like put on and you instantly look like bronzed, beautiful goddess, you know what I mean? Um, and then it like you, washes basically all off and then it just like slowly instantly tans you. But the smell enough is enough to make me not buy it again. I did use the whole tube and stuff, um, but mm, kind of iffy, more of an instant tan if you don't want a little like a tan that literally sinks into your skin and like it's there for like a week if you just kind of want to I want a tan tonight and I only want it for tonight type of thing then totally go for it the, the glitter in this one isn't as annoying as the glitter in this one this one's more like in your face and this one's more like just making you look like glowy so that that one's $25 for a six ounce tube um, and then lastly I think this is the last one I've ever used um, it is the Jergens Natural Daily Glow Moisturizer. So I think everyone's seen these. They're like really inexpensive. I think they're like $6 or something like that. Um, and you just put it on every single day and it like slowly tans you over like a week. Like you, after putting it on every day. And, uh, it comes in like light, medium, dark. And they have special ones for your face as well. I would never go back to this one just because I've experienced other tanners like this. That one is um, clear, so again, you don't know where you're putting it, but it's kind of, it's like a foolproof formula. Like if you are scared that you're going to streak or something, this one is basically impossible to streak because it's so gradual, which is a good thing um, and a bad thing. It depends on what you want. If you want like an instant, it's not for you, but if you're like scared and just want to do it like slowly, then that's for you only bad thing is the smell. It is a very, very, very self-tanner smell. And when I say self-tanner smell, if you guys haven't used a self-tanner, it smells like burning flesh. Like, it's gross. So, um, and if you, those who do have used self-tanners, you know what I'm talking about. So anyways, that one, um, I, oh, I didn't rate the other ones. Okay, this one I rate, um, maybe a 6 out of 10 because it does do its job. It doesn't streak. 
um, but it takes a while and it smells bad. And then the Too Faced, I would rate maybe a 6 or a 7 out of 10 um, because I love that it instantly bronzes you, but I don't love that it basically just washes right off. And, um, and then what else? Oh yeah, the L'Oreal Paris, I already uh, rated that a zero. So that is my self-tanners um, and what I rate them and what I recommend for you guys. So I hope somebody found this video um, helpful in some type of way. And I love you guys and I'll just say what I'm... This ring is from um, Charlotte Russe because I know somebody will ask me about it. What I'm wearing on my lips is LA Colors in matte brown sugar and then on top of that I'm wearing H2O Rouge Matte. It is lip matte. It just looks like these. Yep. Yeah. Um, I hope you guys have an awesome day and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye guys. Love you.